Hey, what's up? It's Roy Fur here, and this is our Video Friday issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets and uh, and a Facebook Live video too. So I want to talk about uh, a book that I picked up recently on the recommendation of a lot of high-level marketers. And the reason for picking up this book is specifically because I've heard this quote come up a few times from a few sources recently, and that's that we are in the idea business. If you are in marketing and advertising, if you are in business at all, to some degree, you are in the idea business because before any kind of financial tra transaction can happen, what has to happen is you have to plant the idea in your prospect's mind that they desire whatever whatever it is that you are offering. And, and that idea has to be there in order for them to take action on it. And the the book that I that I picked up is actually a classic. It's called A Technique for Producing Ideas, and it's by James Webb Young, who was a, a a executive, a VP at J. Walter Thompson. He's also the guy that that practically invented the the public service announcement advertisement uh, way back in World War II. And what uh, J James Webb Young did in his book is he actually put forth a fairly simple five-step process, and it's going to sound logical, and it's going to sound simple to you. It's a fairly simple five-part process for producing ideas. And, uh, you know, this isn't a thick book. It's not a hard read. It's pretty cheap to get your hands on a copy. In fact, it's in the public domain, so there's a, a few different sources, and you could probably find a copy online. I linked to the Amazon uh, link that I followed in the description of this video. and what uh what the process is that that James Webb Young outlined here it's it's a 5 plus 1 part process and the first step is is basically if you have an idea that you need to produce you, you need to define that problem and then start to gather raw materials in order to in order to try and find a solution so let's say you're trying to come up with an idea for an advertisement well then you're going to want to start to research the product. You're going to want to start to research the company. You're going to want to start to research the market. You're going to want to start to research the buyers, past buyers, potential future buyers, that sort of thing. You're, you're going to gather all the raw materials in order to start to develop the idea for that you are going to use to connect with your market regarding whatever it is that you're going to say to them. Then you want to start to organize those ideas, work those ideas over in your mind. You can use mind mapping. You can take notes on, on a legal pad. You can do whatever. Just start to organize those ideas. So step one, you gather raw material. Step two, you're going to start to organize ideas and, and work over the materials in your mind. Third, you actually want to get away from it. Once you've gotten completely exhausted with your research process, if you want to create a new connection, come up with a new idea, I, I think of the movie Pi where there's a story that's told where the, the punchline is, is take a bath. You know, If you want to come up with the solution, you have to step away from the active pursuit of trying to find the solution. And there's all sorts of geniuses throughout, the, throughout time who, who have adopted the same process where they would be working on a problem, working on a challenge, trying to find a solution, trying to put an idea together, and they would step away from the process in order to let their mind work, let their subconscious work, and really develop the solution that they're looking for. A fourth is the actual birth of the idea. This is that moment where you say, Eureka, I have it. This is this is where your subconscious finally feeds you the the that one moment uh, where where your subconscious gives you the idea that you've been looking for. And fifth, the fifth step of the process is once you have the, the raw idea that you're looking for, then, then you actually have to go to work to actually shape and develop that idea to a useful level. So, so step one, you gather raw materials. Step two, you work over those materials in your mind. You start to organize them. You start to try and proactively find the solution that you're looking for. Step three is the incubation of that idea, letting that idea work over in your subconscious mind instead of your conscious mind. Fourth, 
once your subconscious mind gives you the idea that, that you think you're going to run with, then you have to start putting that idea out into the world, which gets you to step five, where you work to refine the idea and, and bounce it off other people and continual, continually uh, optimize and, and develop and really add depth and dimension to that idea. And then the plus one step uh, that James Webb Young talks about in the Afterthoughts chapter is the continual pursuit of research for its own sake. So reading the news, reading books of interest, reading, uh, in, listening to podcasts, watching TV shows, doing whatever, just continuously working your mind, trying to improve in all sorts of areas, as well as just allowing yourself to be stimulated and entertained by all sorts of different ideas and from all sorts of different avenues and perspectives, such that you're able to develop a rich, rich understanding of all sorts of different subjects that you can bring to bear when it comes time to solve a particular problem in a particular area. And, you know, I actually don't think that I really got anything new out of this book. And I think that it mirrors a lot of processes that I've currently used, that I currently use. It mirrors getting things done, uh, the GTD methodology from David Allen. Uh, it, it mirrors Dean Jackson's Bohr process for brainstorm, outline, record, edit. It mirrors all sorts of processes out there for producing ideas. However, it's good to continuously refine and develop and, and, and build on uh, your idea generation capacity. And I think that this book, A Technique for Producing Ideas, is worth the 30 minutes or so it takes to read it to really just get yet another perspective, yet another story into how to produce ideas. And uh, if nothing else, watch this video again, take notes on that five plus one step process. And if you like this, if, if you want to develop more uh, big ideas for your business, for your marketing, certainly follow what I'm doing with Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I also included a link in the, in the description of this video for you, and uh, you can get my daily essays there. Heck, this process is practically what I'm following every day when people say, how do you come up with so much new material on a regular basis? Well, I'm always going through that process of identifying, okay, I need to, I need to come up with ideas, and so I gather lots of raw information. I organize that raw information. I, I keep it for future use. And then I let my inspiration go to work. I don't necessarily plan what I'm going to do. And then ideas come to me. And then I develop those ideas. I work with those ideas. I put them out into the market for uh, for response from the market. So I hope this has been helpful. I have uh, I have lots more things to uh, get to today to give you even more valuable content into the future. So I want to say thank you. I'm going to sign off and make it a great weekend. And I will uh, talk to you again next week.